Hey, welcome to Fog Filler. We got a beautiful machine here ready to show you and how Fog Filler is the leader in the spirits market. I'm going to start you on the infeed and I'm going to walk you through this whole machine so you understand it just like we do. Uh, starting at the beginning of the Fog Filler here, as bottles accumulate, we have bottle present eyes here to know when to start the filler and when to stop the filler. As the bottles travel along, due to their large size and glass, we have got a reduction system in here that reduces the line pressure. So as we go into the rinser and the filler portions of the areas, we don't cause any crashes or jams or broken glass. Come on inside, we'll take a look. As the bottles are coming in, they're held up by our bottle stop. Once the bottle stop is released, we have another timed bottle stop or a hook stop. That makes perfect timing for the glass bottles to go into our screw without any crashing involved. And if there is a sudden stop in the filler, we do have this paddle stop here to always stop the bottles from coming in so we can clear it out. Next up, we're going to head over to our infeed star wheel and to our rinser. Bottles will be heading this way and get transferred with our infeed star wheel into our rinser where we're going to take it, invert it, and rinse it. Let's take a closer look at how we're going to rinse this bottle. All right, bottles are coming into the rinser here and picked up by the neck in this clamp. And as you see, as you move along here, there is a kickstand that helps to lift heavy bottles up and flip them over. Take a look down in here where our nozzle comes in and rinses up inside the bottle once it gets inverted. We rinse it with the product and the product takes any contaminants and it leaves out this exit hole and goes over to our rinse recirculation system, which will filter it and reuse that same product to clean your next bottles on their way through. The other cool thing is as these bottles are rinsed along here, we're not using high pressure where we're gonna start vaporizing your alcohol. We use high volume and we also have a segmented rotary union that will pulse that volume. So as it drains out of the bottle, we give it time to remove the fluid so it doesn't interfere our jet spray. We're gonna go along the other side and I'll show you how we get almost all that product back out of this bottle. All right, these bottles have been rinsed and as they come over here, this is our drip time area. We have a lay down section over here that takes the bottle and cans it on an angle. That allows the legs of your spirits or products to collect in a, in a pool. And then just before we invert the bottle back down, we tip it back up and that pool runs out, eliminating almost all of the product and residuals in this bottle. We're gonna set it down over here and begin filling. All right, we've got this bottle rinse. We're gonna take and we're gonna set this bottle down and we're gonna go around on our transfer star wheel over to the filler. Some key features we got going on in the filler, utilizing glass and in the spirits, is a polymer tip valve so we don't cause any chipping on the neck finishes at all. And it is sealed with a silicone rubber top. We begin the filling right up over here. And one of the cool things that we have is, lifter pedestals that are gas charged. Our competitors will use air cylinders that require heavy duty rebuilds. This gas charge unit only functions when a imperfect glass comes in or a jam happens and it's another way that fog protects itself. From here we're secured in a back pocket by the valve and we're filling on this way around and we're going to head on over to the capper. While your bottles are filling we got a VSC 18 cap sorter sorting your caps and getting them prepared for delivery. We've got dual shoots up here on this one for two different cap styles. This reduces the amount of change over time and the flexibility of what types of caps and bottles you wanna run on your pieces of equipment. Most of this is a very minimal changeover with a selection on the HMI as you see fit. And we are great at applying any type of the Spirits Industry caps, T-corks or ROPP systems. And let's go get one put on and capped. As our bottles come off the filler here, they go through this large transfer star wheel, which eliminates splashing and smoothly transitions this bottle over our cap, sort, or cap delivery system right here. And the bottle will pick up a cap. It moves on over to our capper here, which will turn and apply that cap down tightly. There's an articulated motion in there. As it tightens down onto the cap, the downward force actually applies more gripping pressure it works really good when you have a painted cap and you don't want to scratch it. And they are just a wear item that goes in here and can be replaced as needed. From here, we head on out of the filler and we are completed with our filling process in the spirits industry.